Hello and welcome to the NARC Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, my lovely lurts, and welcome back to the Narc Alert. Well, it's Friday, another week is in the can, and we're getting a little warmer. Spring is just around the corner for those of us here in the Northern Hemisphere. I did promise you a video today on Young Dumb Honey Bun. I want to do a little bit more research into this and make sure it's really good. So I'm going to upload that on Sunday or Monday for tonight. We've got a silly Amberlynn compilation. I thought tonight we could look back at all the mysterious times she talks about all the things going on in the background, behind the scenes, behind the camera. She's ever so furtive and mysterious. Let's dive right in. But I do get a lot of love, like, uh, behind the scenes. <laughs> My weight loss in private, then that'll help because there won't be so much pressure on me. But who knows? <laughs> Home. Oh, there's just things happening behind the scenes. I know I keep saying that, but it's just like reality right now for me. <sighs> okay, so it's been a few days since I filmed in this video. Um, I was just going to start a new vlog, and I know I was doing a what I ate today, but I stopped because we actually ended up having to go to the hospital. So, it's just a lot is happening right now behind the scenes and things that I can't talk about or, you know, it's like not my permission to talk about. Um, I just want to get everything over with, gyno, labs. I have my psychiatrist appointment coming up. I know I need to see a therapist, so I feel like I need to do that. And we also have some things happening behind the scenes that one of these days I'll be telling you guys about, hopefully. Cross my fingers. <laughs> you guys know I'm suffering with my mental illness. I have a lot going on behind the scenes that I just don't even want to talk about. Like, I barely even talk to the people in my life. Um, We have some goals that we both have for um, what we want to achieve before moving out. And when we move out, we're gonna be moving out at the same time. But we are getting our ducks in order. There's gonna be a lot of things that we have to figure out behind the scenes. Sorry, I'm like hardcore reading your guys' chats. Um, are you hurt by Becky's behavior? Seems pretty shady at times. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Um, and certain things are shocking me certain things are understanding um there's just a lot going on and me and dana both know my personality i know their personality type you guys have to realize that i am behind the scenes so i know everything that is going on i would never do anything to disrespect them they both knew about the post and neither of them gave a shit. how's everyone doing Y'all, behind the scenes, I'm trying to really do some stuff. Um, you'll see. <laughs> if it falls through, you'll see. Wait. Falls through. Wait. <laughs> Does falls through mean it doesn't happen or does happen? Falls through. I don't know. 
with these videos i am trying to be so much more transparent and open with you guys so yeah that's why it looks like i've been crying my eyes are red i feel like my cheeks are super red i know they burn of course we already know that not everybody sees color in exactly the same way um sometimes you just gotta let it out <laughs> you know um there are things that i that's going on with like my family and just like people close to me that goes on like behind the scenes that I don't want to talk about. Y'all complain constantly. It's very rare that you say something nice about me and when you do it's like condescending or passive aggressive or it's like you're not shouting it as loud as your complaints. It's also something behind the scenes that went on that I'm not really wanting to disclose at the moment but maybe in the future maybe when the time's right oh a little, a little foreshadowing but okay. okay back to my main so we're, okay so we're doing a little bit of a uh what, what do you want to call this a uh cliffhanger if you will i can just tell you people with traits of npd are highly competitive and must always one up Jordy had a little tea by way of an ig message exchange with amber she could not remain silent and let him use it for his own channel's gain, she had to spoil it and felt fully within her rights to do so. I watched, like I said, I've seen a couple of his videos. I saw in one where he said something like, we should, Amberlynn should like, like we should just talk. I don't remember what it was. So I was like, okay, because I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. You can't expect kindness all the time when you say horrible things about me. Like, it just doesn't add up. I'm not this like cold hearted person. I'm not malicious. Like, like she's fucking insane. Sorry. Truly people have the wrong idea of me, truly. The narco lurk had a heart attack. Have some sympathy. <laughs> I don't care. Like, unless the people in my life are lying to me, then they tell me y'all have the wrong idea of me as well. I found his Instagram and I sent him an emoji. It was just the waving hand and he replied back to it. I didn't respond. I didn't know what to say. I just, it was kind of like a, a peace offering, if you will, because I don't do this whole like, drama thing i'm here to just show i'm here to show you what i am struggling with usually behind the camera by myself um my thought process for today is i'm just gonna eat whatever i want just on a day-to-day -day basis um everything that i have been sharing with you guys is normally what i go through behind the camera i like those times where you guys are like how come you're not talking about your weight? How come you're not weighing in? Are you still on track? Like, this is usually what is happening, <laughs> but I never talk about it. I never speak about it, but here I am talking about it, speaking about it. There are a lot of you who message me privately and are super supportive, and uh, I, I literally would not be doing this without you. So I've been saying for a couple months now that I am losing weight and I'm just keeping it behind the camera. I and I'm starting to see the same behaviors and other people that I did look up to or I used to look up to and I don't I don't want to see those behaviors because I remember being that person. So I know what is happening happening behind the camera. You know, us morbidly obese people, we all got big for one reason. Too much food. We all have begged our partners for food that we shouldn't have had. These are all things that we have done. We have all been delusional. We have all shared only half the story. This is part of all of our stories. Do I still binge? On occasion. But I'm so much better than I used to be. And I've done that. I was the one who's done that behind the camera. I'm the one who has decided, okay, so, I want McDonald's, but instead of getting a 20 piece and a large fry and a McFlurry, I'm gonna get a 10 piece and a small fry. So we are 
super stressed we're sad we're heartbroken and there's a lot on our shoulders right now and things that you guys also don't see behind the camera babe show me real quick i want to show something i just want to point this out because when i'm behind the camera and i'm filming you it sounds like i'm breathing super heavy but this is what's happening i'm going right sure Jan a lot I'm doing like a lot I'm like but I do officially have a scheduled appointment to meet with the whole team the whole weight loss surgery team um, and that also includes the surgeon so I'm very excited because that'll be the first time me and the surgeon are meeting one-on-one -on -one. there's a lot happening um, behind the scenes and things that are uh, making this situation a lot harder on me for sure. I just don't feel like um, talking about it. So we're not gonna do that. But like, let's stay positive because I officially have an appointment and I'm really excited because like, you Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please click like or maybe leave a comment. It really helps the algorithm. What's that? Rio said he would love it if you'd pick up a channel membership because guess what? We're going to start adding more content in for members. Patreon is gone, and all of those podcasts are now coming to you members. You also get in to the fantastic Discord. Did you know we did karaoke this week? <laughs> we go crazy in there. Thank you so much for joining me. Until we meet again, please be kind. And hasta luego.